Singapore is cranking up the heat in search of solutions to protect more of its coastlines from rising sea levels. Studies are looking at ways to fortify the northwest coast, which is home to key assets. There's also research looking at vulnerable sections at Jurong Island and the city to east coast stretch. Vanessa Lim with more. This checkpoint in the north of Singapore is a major crossing for travellers shuttling to and from Malaysia. It's just a short distance from these factories, which power industries like waste management. But all these activities could grind to a halt, with sea levels in Singapore predicted to rise by a metre or more by the turn of the century as temperatures climb. That's why the country is searching for solutions to shore up defences at its northwestern coast. In the north, you have less wave action um, on that coast. Um, which makes it a bit easier in some ways to protect. In terms of engineering structures, it would still be, um, you know, we, traditional engineering structures for low-lying areas, it would be um, dikes and the kinds of nature-based solutions that could be seen there, I think, would be mangroves uh, as sort of protective belts. With other assets like Kranji Reservoir at stake, Singapore will begin studies for the area next year. These will be completed by 2027, according to National Water Agency, PUB. Another four-year study will look into adaptation measures from the city area to Changi, starting this year. Also in the pipeline, more infrastructure to guard against inland flooding. In the last decade, PUB has invested almost $2 billion on drainage works. Over the next five years, we will invest another $1.36 billion. Ten projects will commence this year, including drainage works at Salita North Link and Serangoon Avenue 2 and 3. A new modelling tool will also be developed to assess inland and coastal flood risks as Singapore braces itself for more intense rainfall and extreme weather. The country is heating up twice as fast as the rest of the world, with the past decade its hottest on record. The heat will only get more unbearable if carbon emissions continue to climb. It's compounded by what's known as the urban heat island effect, where heat generated is trapped in buildings and roads. So to better understand the impacts of this, it's looking to deploy sensors like this one island-wide to collect data on wind speeds, temperature and humidity to find solutions to beat the heat. These could guide planners in maximizing shade and wind flow.